number of sailors deserting the Navy has skyrocketed. In fact, it's more than doubled from 2019 to 2021, according to data that NBC News obtained. It shows in 2019, 63 sailors deserted, and that jumped to 157 last year, a nearly 150% increase. The data shows most of the deserters were 25 years old or younger. The desertions come during a time of intense scrutiny over recent suicides in the Navy. This is the U.S. Dist George Washington docked in Virginia. It has been there for years for an overhaul. But the sailors still live on that aircraft carrier, and at least five of them kill themselves over the last year. The conditions are horrible, almost unlivable, according to current and former sailors who talk to NBC News. They say constant construction noise made sleeping impossible and that there was a lack of hot water and electricity. NBC News digital reporter Melissa Chan has been investigating this. Melissa, how many young sailors sign contracts with the Navy right out of high school? What, if any, options do they have if they want to leave the military? Chef, their options are really slim, which may be why we're seeing these spikes in desertion and suicides. They feel trapped. You know, there's no giving your two weeks notice and resigning. So it's left a lot of sailors feeling like they only have these extreme alternatives, which is to die by suicide or flee. What do we know about why some of these sailors are leaving their posts? Navy officials really kind of struggled to explain the increase in desertions, saying that sailors can be exposed to many different stressors. But if you ask any military law attorney, they'll tell you that mental health factors into almost every single case that they've handled. I, I know the Navy secretary visited the George Washington on Tuesday. Do we know how the sailors reacted? Do they feel like they're going to get what they need? Many of the sailors are cautiously optimistic um, that things will improve, knowing that it's a tough thing to change a, a command climate and culture. So I think they're really just waiting to see what the Navy secretary will recommend. Hey, from your reporting, is this an issue unique to the Navy or is it across the military? This is unique to the Navy. Uh, during the same time period, the Army and the Marine Corps both saw drops in desertions while the other branches remained steady. Melissa Chan, NBC News Digital. Melissa, thanks.